It was a sunny afternoon one spring. I sat at my desk, pondering the mysteries of life. Why is the sky blue? Why do zebras have stripes? And can we really know which flavor ice cream is best? As the day dragged on, I wondered if my detective service would be needed. Oh, it sure would be nice to solve a mystery right about now. Maybe this is a case, an email. It's a letter from Joseph. It's a case, all right. It reads, Dear Detective Duffy, In my daily Bible reading yesterday, I read Ephesians 6, 14 to 18. It says, Stand therefore, having fastened the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. I was just wondering, is the armor the Bible talks about real armor? Also, are we supposed to fight a real battle? Thanks for helping me with these questions. You're the best Bible detective I know. Your friend, Joseph. Well, Joseph, thank you for your email. I can't wait to help you solve this Bible mystery. I will need my magnifying glass. I am on the case. Hmm. I considered where I should start looking for evidence concerning this case. The grocery store. I am out of cookies. The library? I don't think so. Hmm, how about the park? That's a good idea. I do come up with a lot of those. To the park! I began looking for clues when I heard arguing. I moved to see what all the ruckus was about. Dottie, you took my shovel. I was playing in the sandbox first. You're wrong, Braxley. You left. Now it's my turn to play in the sandbox. You can't hog it forever. Oh, yeah? Well, you just get your way all the time. You're so bossy. Well, you're selfish. Oh, my. I wonder what's going on here. Hey, you guys. Are you two not getting along? Braxley has been a meanie all day. He isn't sharing and has been saying grouchy things to me. Well, Dottie hasn't been a buttercup herself. She's been doing stuff to try to get me upset. Mm, very interesting. Well, could it be that both of you have done something wrong? Well, maybe. I guess so. Braxley, is it possible that maybe you have been a little grouchy today? Well, I guess a little bit. Well, why are you feeling grouchy? Mm, earlier today, someone was making fun of the way I dress. They said I look dumb. I'm sorry, Braxley. That's not a kind thing to say. And you know it's not true. I'm sorry, Braxley. I wasn't very gracious to you, and I was trying to make you mad because I was upset with you. Can you forgive me? I forgive you, Dottie. Hey, everybody. Hi, Duffy. Hey, Duffy. Hey, Duffy. Are you on a case? I sure am. I was wondering if you guys could help me out. We'd be happy to help if we can. Hmm, this is a very important case. I'm looking for evidence about the armor of God. Do you guys know anything about the armor of God and the battle talked about in Ephesians 6? I do. As a matter of fact, I was just about to ask Dottie and Braxley if they knew about the armor of God. You were? Mm -hmm. Why were you going to do that? Braxley and I were just arguing. We weren't going to battle each other. Well, I know you weren't going to physically fight, but Ephesians 6 isn't talking about a physical battle. It's talking about a spiritual battle. A spiritual battle? Hey, I think that's my first clue. We're fighting a spiritual battle, not a battle between people. That's right, Duffy. And Ephesians 6, 11 through 13 says, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day 
and having done all, to stand firm. So you see, Braxley and Dottie, we need to understand that our battle isn't with each other, but with the enemy, Satan, and his demons. The devil? That sounds really scary. Are you saying Satan was making me fight with Braxley? Not exactly. We are responsible for our actions, but what I'm saying is the enemy wants to destroy us. He will do anything to try and keep us from following God. He will use fear, anger, pride, discouragement, and all sorts of tricks to try and stumble us. Oh, like how I was made fun of today. I let that really discourage me, and then I didn't treat Dottie right. That's right, Braxley. The good news is that God equips His people to be able to fight the spiritual battle by putting on the armor of God, which is available to all those who are saved by Jesus. Oh, oh, this is the second clue. So if the battle is spiritual, that means God's armor is spiritual too. Good work, Duffy. God's armor is spiritual armor that we must be reminded to put on each day. Oh boy, this is great. I think we're just about to solve the case. I remember what we need to put on to fight the spiritual battle. We need the belt of truth. That's right. We must know what is true. Satan loves to confuse us and lie to us, but as Christians, we are equipped with the belt of truth. I remember what's next. We need the shoes of the gospel of peace, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shield of faith. Great job, Braxley. We must know the gospel, that we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. These pieces of armor will help us to withstand many fiery darts of the enemy. I remember the last two, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. You know, I realized something. I wasn't prepared with my armor. I didn't feel like reading God's word this morning, so I didn't. But my heart wasn't prepared to be gracious to Braxley. Instead, I dished it back to him when I should have loved him. Dottie, it's good that you're confessing your mistakes. God forgives us when we make mistakes. And here is some wonderful news. God is greater than our greatest enemy. John 4.4 4 says, Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. And with that, the case was solved. Another Bible mystery in the books. Our battle is spiritual. We need to put on the whole armor of God. And God, who is in us, is greater than he who is in the world. Case closed. See you later!